Hey, I'm back. So I was very motivated to make this video today because I have seen so many people level up um, in the level up group. I've so seen so many people um, change for the better as far as appearances are concerned. And so has their life. So I was motivated to make this video today because I was looking at my old videos. I was looking at pictures people have sent me and how they looked last year versus this year and how their life has totally, completely improved for the better. Okay. So this video is mainly for people who are still on the fence about improving themselves, changing their looks, um, doing what is necessary to get what you need to get or be where you want to be in this world. Um, so I just want to make this video for everybody, but mainly those people who are still thinking about it. I can tell you, go look at my old videos from like a year or two years ago. Okay. Major difference. Why? Because I put more focus and energy into, you know, myself. Okay. Just a year, one year. That's all it took. And the, those years, I mean, that year went by so quick because I was actually having fun. I was in a group of um, women who were all leveling up at the same time. So I went ahead and leveled up with them because we can't talk the talk, but not walk the walk. Okay. So, I mean, I thought I looked good back then too, but I could always be improving. Right. So that's what I did. So um, if y'all know Mickey, y'all already know she's improved a lot. She sent me pictures earlier today and I was like, from last year, I was like, wow, you know, you did that. So <laughs> let's, let's focus on how much have our lives improved for the better since we have leveled up. I know a lot of people have gotten rid of a uh, certain type of friends, ex-boyfriends um, who were boyfriends, better jobs, better positions, more money, um, better treatment, um, nicer, uh, nicer treatment in general, right? And gotten rid of dusties, exactly. So I can say a lot of ladies' lives are way better since they put the energy and the focus on them instead of chasing behind a dusty man. Okay. Or being, thank you for subbing or being, um, you know, worried about the wrong things and never putting yourself first. If you realized how much you're missing out on in life, you would stop whatever you're doing right now and make a promise to yourself to put yourself first. No matter what it is, if your skin is bad, go make you a dermatology appointment. If you need to lose some weight, go figure out the best method for you and move forward. If you need to dress better, throw out all that crap in your closet and go get some new stuff. And if you can't afford it, get one thing a week until you have what you want. OK, if you need to just change your entire style because whatever you're doing is not working for you. Go find a style inspiration and and uh, try your the new style out. You know, anything that's going to help you improve is going to make your life way better in the long run. So if I were in the same place as I was last year, I would do it over again. Why? Because it was easy. It was easy and it was fun. I had friends. I had people that I could also be inspired by and watch. That's the reason that I started the group because it's easier to do with a group. Believe me. Um, you found found you, improved my look, started dressing differently and got a rich man and I don't have to work. See, Felicia? And her name really is Felicia. Wow. I love that. I love hearing stories like that. Um, if you don't, if you let yourself go, you can get yourself back. Believe me. I, a lot of ladies in the group, you know, came in saying, Oh, I let myself go. I, I used to look like this. I used to look better and I want to get back there. So they did, you know, 
Taking care of yourself is often seen as being selfish, but once I became selfish, I gained so much confidence. Exactly. That's what it takes. Um, <laughs> you just jumped out of your pop's boat. Big Sean about to be around the corner from me. Okay. Um, let's see. I got a party August. Okay. You really are a level up guru for women. She would thank you. Um, gym do wonders. Yes. I, Mickey and I go, um, well, we were going to the gym during the school year. It's kind of hard now that the kids are out of school, but I have a treadmill and we often uh, we'll go to the pool, you know, with the kids and stuff, but it's, it's important to do something, right? Mm -hmm. So you're always trying to level up, but I don't want more changes I can make to see a real difference in my life. I dropped toxic friends, Dusty's never really tolerated, and now it's all about me. Good for you. Um, when you look good, you feel good, exactly, and attract good. So if you have your hair cut in a mohawk, can you level up and keep the style? Yeah, if you put a wig over it, no problem, okay? I'm just keeping it real. Unless you plan on trying to date someone who owns a tattoo shop and also has a mohawk. And they like mohawks. I don't know. A bike shop, tattoo shop, whatever. But I do think that you do need to put a wig on it. <laughs> anyway. Somebody said. <laughs> Leveling up has changed my life. I am healthier, happier, more confident. I get treated better and I no longer work as hard, but I have more money. Yes. Awesome. So you know, I just I just help y'all realize that you're important and you should put yourself first. You know, y'all did the work. We all have to do the work, but <laughs> I'm new, but I gave up sweets and sugar. I, ne I never gave up sweets and sugar. I will still eat a sweets and sugar treat, you know, but I won't eat a meal if I choose the treat. I, it's either the dessert or the meal. It's not both. <laughs> mm hmm. So if I want a cupcake or a cookie or a piece of cake, guess what? No dinner. That just eat the dessert and be happy. OK, switch the calories out. Cake and whipped cream trying to eat healthy. <laughs> oh. Can you make a video about religious parents who look down on our lifestyle? I don't care about religious people. That's them. That's not me. OK, that's that's the point. You got to stop caring what people think. It doesn't matter anymore. You're first. That's them. That's their life. That's their free will. This is your life. Do what you want. OK, so I, I don't waste time making videos about that. If you can't cut people off by not caring what they think, you could still love people, talk to people, visit people, but cut off. When they start trying to lecture you, just like, oh, got to go. I'm busy. Got to go. I have an appointment. Got a phone call. That's what I do. If someone starts talking and I don't like what they're saying, I'd be like, oh, my God, I have a consultation. I totally forgot about. I got to go. Or, oh, my God, I'm supposed to pick up someone and I totally forgot. I got to go. Just get out of there. That's what I would do. <laughs> Every time they start talking to whatever you don't want to hear, leave. You know. Um, can you talk about leveling up on behavior and certain characteristics? I'm such a loud person. I really had to work hard to soften my voice. It's made a huge difference in how others. Yeah, you know. Um, Layla's a little loud, my, my daughter, and I have to constantly remind her. It's a conscious thing. It's like you have to really be in your zone. You got to be in your acting mode when you're in the presence of other people that you want to, you know, to perceive you differently. So you got to just change your persona real quick as soon as you get into that environment. Got to do it. It has to be a conscious decision. Just like Beyonce says, she changes to Sasha Fierce on the stage. But then when she gets off, she's back to Beyonce. You got to do that. It's just a mental thing. Okay. 
someone says you they like loud women. <laughs> yeah, but do they like you? Just kidding. Okay, so my social worker said that if you spend too much time alone with a man, he will get bored of you. You are double dates. So are double dates good? No, I don't suggest double dates. I suggest nice dates that don't last forever. A couple of hours and that's it. Leave them wanting more. If you bring someone else on the date, you're distracted. They're distracted. They What if they're looking at the other chick? What if him and the guy start talking and forget all about the girls or whatever? You know, I don't suggest double dates unless you're a couple and y'all have known each other for some a couple of months and years and it's just something fun to do. Okay. So making sure, like, I always say, I always say, you know what, Layla? my daughters. I was like, imagine how different our life would be if, you know, um, I looked like this supermodel or Beyonce or this person. Um, and she's like, wow, you think you'd still be married to daddy? I'm like, you know, but that was just getting me on the topic because you, we always joke around like that, but whatever you can physically change realistically about yourself will always give you a better lifestyle anyway. Does it matter? You know, and and um, like sometimes we laugh and say, you think if daddy um, hit the lottery that uh, he would still be with us? <laughs> but we always joke around like that. It's not something that um, we're sensitive about because that's just our crazy sense of humor. Um, and we, If y'all go back on this channel... Y'all will even see the prank that we did on him with the fake lottery ticket. <laughs> we bought some fake lottery tickets and I was like, hey, James, will you help me scratch my lottery tickets? I need help. And you're lucky. So I want you to scratch it for me. He said, OK. All of them are winners, right? So he started scratching and looking, scratching and looking. He put on his glasses, look like this. We're just sitting back there, like waiting on the response. And we're filming it. It's like, I think I won. I'm like, ooh, how much? I don't know. I think it says, you know, 400,000. 400, I'm like, what? Oh, thank. That's my card. Oh, no. You, he would not give me the card back. It was his card at that point. I said, I just asked you to scratch it for me. I didn't give it to you. Uh uh. This is my card. This is my card. I said, okay. Well, we're married, so I get half of that anyway. And he's laughing. I was like, he was getting all excited, get, got up, start walking around. His blood pressure probably went up. Then the kids started laughing. That's a fake. It's a fake lottery ticket. Huh? <laughs> then he was like, his whole life just shattered. <laughs> if y'all ever want to do a good prank and see how people will react when they get money, Go get you some fake lottery tickets from the Dollar Tree in the toy section and give it to them. Okay. <laughs> you will laugh, I promise. And film it. Anyway, so James is about to be out. You think I would give somebody lottery tickets to scratch? No one. That, that's how people are? Mm mm. I'm a, I will be out. <laughs> I'll just send him his cut. I'm like, here, James. <laughs> so what do you think about a guy who doesn't believe in long-term dating and wants to get married within six months? I think something is wrong with that. Okay. Um, unless he's super religious. Unless he needs a green card, unless he needs a tax tax write off or something like that, unless he's got bad credit, I don't know. I I would do a total background check on him. Okay, red flag. Men don't rush into marriage. Okay, just understand that. Unless it's for an alternative reason that you don't know about. Mm hmm. Men will get married fast if they need your help. Exactly. Don't do it. Maybe their house is in foreclosure. I don't know. 
Maybe you could get the refinance loan with your good credit. I don't know. Um, at 19, what should my focus be on? Should I no, just go have fun. Go fall in love. Go have fun. Date whoever you want. When you get about 22, 23, 24, then you can start thinking about that. But you're too young right now. Um, it's good not to be with a dusty, but don't try to be a sugar baby right now unless that's what you really want. Because at your age, you're still looking for love. You know, you need to do, go do that. I have I had a man that wanted to move in with me after the first date. That was weird. Yeah, he's homeless. What? After three years, me and Dion are getting married and he's not a dusty. Well, that's good. Three years is a good time. Is it bad idea to tell a potential sugar daddy about my new delivery job? Don't. Why are you telling people about work? No, never tell anybody. Why do men always leave pretty women for ugly women? Um. If they do leave you for ugly women, it's because they can impress the ugly women. They can't press, impress you anymore. And you might, the, the pretty woman might have expected too much from them and they weren't willing to do any of that. You know, and plus you can probably do better than him anyway. My mom says a guy is not serious if he doesn't propose in six months. LOL. Um, That was the old days. Okay. I'm very good looking, very attractive, but only Dusty's approach me. Perhaps it's how you dress. Maybe you need to be super classy. You know what I mean? And it could be your hair, makeup, nails. Just you need to reassess your look. She's probably, able, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're reinventing yourself and you have not been able to invest in yourself in a few years and you want to let your apartment go get something. Oh, I went to let my apartment go get something going where I can level up. I have no car. OK, if you're trying to level up and you're don't and you don't have things, focus on that first. OK, you got to be financially stable in order to start leveling up. Fix your financial problems first. OK. Um. Do what you can do. Borrow clothes from your friend. Go thrift shopping. Do whatever you need to do. But don't spend money that you don't have. Okay. Go get yourself together first. Okay. Level your looks first. Well, if you if you don't have the money to level up your looks, I mean, do what you can for free. You know, if, if you need to lose weight, start working out. If you need to... Um, you know, start dressing different, rearrange your outfits to look a different way, but do what you can until you have the money. Okay. Is it okay to look for love when you're broke and can't fix your looks yet? Um, if you want to be hurt, sure. I don't know. You can look for love if you're young. I, I, I always suggest looking for love first. Don't get pregnant. Okay. <laughs> I learn how to level up through bartending. Eat easy money and it's mostly based on looks. Exactly. So if you think about it, I was watching this video on YouTube and it says attractive people are treated better. They get paid more and their lives are way better. And anybody can be attractive. You know, it's just how you take care of yourself. You might not be the most beautiful person, but you can take care of yourself to make yourself attractive. Okay. I've seen ugly, attractive people, but they were attractive. That means Everything about them was in place. It was nice. They were well-groomed. They took care of themselves. They cared about how they looked. They wore nice clothing. They attempted to put on makeup and do their hair and their nails were nice. They, you know, it was good. Okay. They got better treatment than someone who didn't do that. Okay. So make sure if you're trying to go on a job interview, if you're trying to level up and meet new type of people and not dusties, um, 
then make sure your looks are up to par. Make sure you're investing in yourself, putting yourself first, doing what you need to do. Okay, because looks are very, very important, even though people say they're not and it's shallow. That's a lie. And you know, it is. You know, do your best. You know, it's a lie. OK, so. You wasn't allowed to date when you were young. Now you're 27. Should you be looking for love or experience level up and look for you're going to be looking for love anyway. So you might as well get that out of the way. But you're 27. So we got to be realistic about this. You got to hurry up. You know. <laughs> You're going to fall in love with the first person you probably date. So it doesn't matter. Just go get that out of the way. <laughs> okay, what? You said you have to be honest. You're less patient with a chick that's a six or below. Um, okay. Gold diggers help the economy by spreading the wealth. Exactly. <laughs> Fat women get the worst treatment. Shaking my head. Well, you know, in general, I would say they probably get used more. And they accept more and they let more slide. So, yes, they do accept the worst treatment. I will say they accept it because that's a choice. Um, let's see. But anyway, if you're, if you need, if you know you need to do something, then just do it. You know, uh, I feel like I don't think that weight should rule your life, but I think if you know, if you looked a different way that your life could totally be improved and that's what you want, then maybe, you know, you should uh, put some effort into that direction. You know, it's up to you though, because some, some men like you as you are, some men will take you as you are and, you know, treat you good. Some men will use you and treat you bad, but you just have to make sure that person is with you and they like what you look like. Okay. So, cause it, it all depends. I know a lot of guys that like women that are larger, but it, you have to understand the type of men that you're looking for may not. So you have to kind of take into consideration what the type of man you're trying to get likes. Okay. Yes, and weight can change, and that's an, that's one of the easiest changes. So, okay, anyway. So, imagine whatever you look like now, and imagine how you want to look. And imagine how things will change in your life, what you will have, the thing, the opportunities you'll get, how people will start treating you, how many friends are going to be jealous, how many friends are going to want to improve with you, how people will treat you. You got to think about the good and the bad because it comes with both. Leveling up is not all good. OK, people will start hating on you. People will start saying, no, why are you doing that? People will change on you. Some, you know, and the good parts is, yes, you will get more attention. Yes, you will probably get an increase in pay or some type of promotion or raise or a better job. If you apply, you'll get better type of men approaching you. You'll get better treatment, nicer people, um, better service, whatever, you know, preferential treatment. So if you think about the good versus the bad, the good is always going to be more valuable, you know, so. You have to choose a struggle. You can't be ugly and <laughs> y'all are so crazy. Um, so I understand. Okay, so I have I have to tell you guys this. If you're trying to get a millionaire or a high six-figure man, most of the time they're not gonna be dating 
a certain size woman. Okay. So we got to get that into our mental. If you want to date, you know, mid six figures to low six figures. Okay. Maybe they have a certain a range that they'll work with. Okay. So you got to understand that first and foremost. Some men will date you, but they won't commit to you. Okay. Because they're holding out for better. So you got to understand that. You can't get disappointed and think that something is wrong. It's just how guys are. Okay. That's just how they are. Like a woman, as long as you got money, it doesn't matter. Like for me, I'll, I'll date you fat, skinny, tall, short. As long as you have some money, that's all I really, that's all it's got. Okay. I might draw the line with the bad teeth, but that's, that's it. Okay. Because people with money can get that fixed. So, um, that's it, you know. But men aren't like that because a woman's looks are basically equivalent to a man's wealth. So your looks are your wealth. Unless you're dating a Dusty, then your wealth is your wealth and his wealth. No double digits. So put yourself first and I guarantee you a year from now, your life is going to be improved a lot. A lot. Just start doing it. Who cares what people think? Who cares how people start hating on you? And one year from now, you won't even care about those people and those, and people hating on you and whatever, whatever. You're going to be so happy you did what you did, that you made a change, a positive change for yourself, for your life, that you won't even remember the bad things. Okay. You said you bought your first wig today. Cool. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Um, my sister married a rich guy that turned dusty because he's lazy. <laughs> oh gosh, she should have been saving his money. You can grow six to eight inches of hair in a year, lose 30 pounds in a year. You can be happier in a year. Oh, true. Um, she would do you recommend starting a fitness Insta so you can perform what and attract wealthy? No, because I don't recommend that because it just depends on what. Like I don't rep. I don't recommend an Instagram account because so many guys have access to you. You know, you can have one, but don't do all that extra stuff unless you're like an instructor, that's your career and things like that. You know what I'm saying? But if you're just doing it for that reason and they'll be able to tell, you know, make sure you put that it's your career first. Don't wear skimpy stuff. You know, you can wear nice stuff, but that's your brand. But still, that's your career and your brand. They might be less likely to, you know, approach because there's so much competition. But I don't know. You know, I feel like it could go either way. So you, it's just going to be careful how you advertise yourself. Mm hmm. You can't just assume that men want to use women just because they are plus size. Women get used all sizes. That's true. I said they get used the most. Because they accept the least. The woman accepts accepts it. You know, man can't use a woman unless he she allows him to use. That's what I was saying, you know. Mm -hmm. How do people treat you when you are not level up, Shira? People will don't notice you that much. They they're not extra kind to you. They don't give you preferential treatment. They won't look you in the eye. You know, they'll try to avoid you if possible. They won't smile at you. 
you know, they might be rude. <laughs> and like, for example, when I, when I dress up really nice and I look my best or at least somewhat decent and I go out, which is most of the time because I don't go out looking crazy. People will treat you so nice. They will open the door for you. They will smile at you. They'll ask how how's your day. They will offer you free stuff, extra stuff, you know, um, tell you about stuff. Like, oh, if you go online, you could buy this and get a coupon and, you know, then come back tomorrow and buy this at this price. You know, they'll tell you the deals. And then you'll see somebody that comes next to pay and they don't look so nice. They don't tell them nothing. They just hurry up trying to get them out of the store. You know, so, you know, when you're walking and a man rushes to open the door for you when he was like, a, you know, 50 feet behind you, you know, you look good. Okay. So, and they treat you like a lady versus a man. Okay. Most unattractive people, especially women get treated like men. They'll, they'll slow down so they don't have to open the door for you. Or they'll rush so they don't have to open the door for you. I've seen it. I've watched it. They'll stop, tie their shoe when it wasn't even untied to avoid you. I've seen it. Why? Because, hi, kitty. Because that's what they do. Looks are important. <laughs> hi, kitty. They're more patient with you. They want you to stay longer and talk. When you ask them stupid questions, they don't get upset. They, they're they glad you asked the dumb, dumb question, even though you probably already knew the answer. You know, even women treat you better. Like most, some women, not all women, but a lot of women even treat you better. You know? So... <sighs> When, yes, men and women are so nice to me when I have on my makeup and outfit slave. Yes, they give you compliments and go out of their way to speak to you. Yep. So knowing this, you should never leave your house looking any kind of way. Just by knowing this. I know some people still do. They don't care. They don't care what people think. And that's good. You don't need to care what people think. But don't be mad when they start treating you bad. Don't be mad. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. I don't care what people think, but I know I'm not leaving my house because I'm not, you know, looking crazy because I want the best treatments. I want preferential treatment. So I'm going to leave my house looking good. It's not that I care what they think. It's just that I like getting treated well. And when you look good, people treat you good most of the time. So I don't care what they think. I could care less. They might not like my outfit, but if they like everything else, they're still going to treat me nice. You know, I don't care what they think. Oh, you know, I bet she's, you know, a gold digger. Well, I don't care if they're still going to treat me nice. I don't care what they think when I'm walking around and, you know, um, shopping during the middle of the day. I might have a drug dealer's girlfriend or something like I don't care what they think. They still open in that door and smiling. Don't care. <laughs> so. It's not about what they think. It's about how you how you get treated as a result on how you take care of yourself. How how you treat yourself is how other people treat you. It doesn't matter what they think about you. It's how you treat yourself as how others will treat you. So if you come out the house looking ratchet, that's how they're going to treat you, like a ratchet. And you can't get upset because that's what you came out the house looking like, dressed like. So they must they thought you was a ratchet. So they treated you like one. I know all people should be treated equally, but y'all know that's a lie too. Mm -hmm. <sighs> By the time I'm in my 20s, I'm going to be so ahead of the game. You sure should. If you want, no, if you don't care about yourself, others won't. Exactly. I laugh when I see people with socks and slides. Oh, my God. Yes. They think you're going to steal when you go out looking like a, a bum. <laughs> yes, they will. Okay, so I went into this little bougie shop today. 
looking cute, looking like this, my nice outfit, this little dress, a little free people dress, had my, you know, nice purse and, you know, looking cute, just walking around, mm -hmm. you know, the lady went into the back, left me alone in the store for about five minutes. I could, you know, I don't do that, but I wasn't ratchet, so she was comfortable. Okay, if I had been ratchet with house slippers and a bonnet on, that wouldn't have never happened. I'm trying to tell you. <clears throat> okay. She's like, oh, did you buy that dress here? I'm like, no. But I saw it here. It was really nice. You know, so it's not racism. It's classism. I keep telling y'all. It's not racism. It's classism. Because this lady went straight to the back for about five minutes. There's jewelry in there. All kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is classism. It is not racism. It is classism. Like, you look like you got money and you don't need to steal. They don't, they're not going to follow you. They're not going to be suspicious of you. They're not going to treat you mean and rude. Unless you don't look your like you can afford something because that happened to me. I went to Marshall's one time and I it was like early in the morning and I didn't do enough, I guess, to my my look. I don't know. <laughs> but one of the managers like, oh, it looks like this was worn and washed and retagged. I'm like, do I look like I, I can fit this? And do I look like I can retag this and have time to do that? I, and, uh, you know, whatever, whatever. It was a shirt for Layla. And I was like, I didn't, I bought this yesterday. And so, you know, I was upset. I went, stood outside, called the corporate office and reported that dude like three times, wrote emails, whatever, whatever. Um, and then I said, you know, um, I told them, I was like, I hope you take care of that because I don't want to have to uh, go further <laughs> legally. So they say, yes, ma'am, we'll take care. We're going to talk to him about this and that, put him some, some type of training, whatever, whatever. I'm like, whatever. But I wouldn't look at my best. And I already knew that when you don't look your best, people will treat you like that. It's not that they're, because he would have told that to, you know, trailer trash too. You know, anybody that was, you know, of a different race, he would have told that to someone who looked like, you know, they just rolled out the bed. You would have told that to anyone that wasn't looking like they could afford something. So I didn't take it as racism. I actually, I did pull the race card, but I knew it was classism because, <laughs> but I had to use that to my advantage. Anyway, next story. <laughs> so, you know, then I go, I go to nice places and when you look nice, got on expensive brands and not labels and logos, but nice brands that, you know, people recognize that aren't so flashy and they know they cost a little change and you're not super flashy and ghetto. They understand, you know, like, oh, she's, she's not like that, you know? So they, they put you in a different class. That's what it is. Okay. Yes, you can have money, but if you're rocking like Gucci flip-flops and, you know, Louis Vuitton, um, uh, everything and logos everywhere. It just looks either they might think it's fake or they might think, you know, you still ghetto. You probably spent your tax return on it. You know, they're not going to treat you the same as if you have on like something from, uh, Neiman Marcus or Saks Fifth Avenue or some type of brand that's not really, you know, uh, in the videos and the, the music, you know what I'm saying? Ghetto fab, yes. So, yes, celebrities dress that way all the time. Yes, but you're not a celebrity. You're trying to be like a celebrity. It's a difference, you know? And the, the celebrity isn't spending their tax refund on it. The celebrity is not driving a Honda. Okay? That's the difference. <laughs> So, how to handle jealous women 
black white women I'm fit and beautiful and brown skin woman always hate on me and I have long black natural hair how to handle these haters on me I'm very confident um I don't think you should recognize it I don't think you should care like they're supposed to hate on you if you look good okay if they didn't hate on you, you need to go back in your house and redo your makeup, redo your hair, do something. They're supposed to hate on you. Okay? They're not hating. It ain't working. <laughs> That's how you handle it. Be happy. Um, I got bullied in fourth grade because I have, you were small and white. <laughs> no. Well, everybody's been bullied for something, so welcome to the club. Okay. <laughs> you lost weight and your sugar daddy out of nowhere started to get you more money. And now he's talking about wants me to be his girlfriend. LOL. See, I told you. They won't commit to you until you are ideal to them anyway. Mm -hmm. Leveling up is more than books, more than looks to educate yourself, learn skills. Exactly. Like in the group, we talk about manners, how to speak, um, mentality, not getting emotionally attached, putting yourself first, keeping your standards, all that good stuff. There's many, many books, many PDF book files in the group. Um, it's a paid group, yes, but the books are well worth the one-time fee, believe me, because it's stuff you would have to buy. Um, mm -hmm. Do you have on any tips on how to look nice when you're sick and can't do a full face of makeup, like if you're congested, sneezing? At least put some concealer, some blush, and some mascara on, waterproof if your eyes are watery, and some lipstick or lip gloss. You don't have to do a full face. Um, what do you think about Elon Musk dating Grimes? Okay, I, I looked him up yesterday, thanks to you guys, but I don't know who Grimes is. Now that I looked them up. Who's Grimes? Let's see. Grimes. Grimes. Okay, Canadian musician. Okay, let me see what she looks like. She looks like a little child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's a Pisces, I see. Mm -hmm. Check. Creative type, non-threatening. She's a siren. Um, magical clouds, blood pop. Mm. Genesis Oblivion. I think he likes that she's into some, you know, some info, some knowledge. She's a Pisces, of course. So she's off always, she's going to be a, a siren seductress. Hard to resist those Pisces, though. She ain't got no wrong. This is what she looked like. So I say... I understand. It's, it's a different allure. It's her vibration, I think. It's just different. Let me see what she looks like in other pictures. Ooh, what's this? Looks very ethereal. Let's see. She's a little strange. She's got a little strange. And he, you know, he's into um, technology, Tesla. So he's, he's got a little strange and it's going on. That's her. You know, the Pisces women, like Rihanna, they'll, they'll steal your man. All right. Um, anyway, you're a Pisces. A lady at Target showed you one time because you fell, and she said, I got the floor dirty, LOL. 
What? Shoved you? Wow. That's not that's not nice. You could have sued. You know they had that on camera. That's how they got Cat Williams. <laughs> See, I'm always thinking. Um Rihanna has Venus and Aries. I think that's what makes her a man eater. <laughs> so she got fired the next day. Okay. I still would have sued Target. I'm sorry. You have a nice paycheck right now. You wouldn't have to work. Shoot, sure, do you think a woman should delete her social media to focus on herself? You know, if you have to do all this extra stuff, depends on what your social media look like. Are you do you have classy pictures or every picture of your butt? I don't know. You know what I mean? Or do you have too many dusties in your feed? Or are your old friends not leveling up or having the same type of lifestyle change you are? I feel like I would start an entire new social media, an alias one, where I only allow people on there who are like-minded. You can have more than one. Get you a different alias. Only invite people who are like you. You know, I had um, I had another social media account years and years ago, and I don't even check it anymore. Them people is gone. Okay, it's a whole new one. <laughs> so, freestyling and shyness. There's no time to be shy. You know, if you want something, go get it. Don't be afraid. There's no fear in this. You have nothing to lose. You know. If you're if you're shy, somebody else is going to not be shy. So it's your world. You can't be shy. You got to choose what you want and go for it. Not as far as going up to people, but if someone approaches you, don't act shy. You know, this person risks walking over to you to speak to you. And if you're just going to sit there and barely say anything, they felt like they just wasted their time. And you probably just wasted and missed a good opportunity. Okay. Are you shy on a job interview? No. Okay. Same thing. <laughs> People who say they're shy. Oh, yes, I'm shy. I'm shy. But then like if you need a job and you're desperate and you're on that job interview. You're talking up a storm, telling, listing everything, talking about this, talking about that, trying to impress this person. Oh, yeah, you can talk then. So don't be shy. That's a choice. How should you handle the fact that you are a cam girl? Um, hmm. Hi, Kitty. I feel like if you're in that industry, no one's going to take you seriously while you're still in that industry. And once you feel like you need to, some people won't even know you're in that industry because they're not going to really research you. But it's a risk. You know, it's a risk of not being taken seriously. Unless you totally change your look and your name. That girl just looked like me. I don't know who that is. Okay. <laughs> Do you have promise ring, engagement ring advice? Um, how long have you been together? Because if it's if it's too soon, then you're gonna scare that person away. Okay. Any tips for depression? Yes, go to a third world country and volunteer. That's what I th that's what I say. You have too much. You don't have enough. You wish your life was different. Make the changes that's necessary to get you out of that depression. I, I like. I don't like when people ask me about that because, first of all, I'm not a psychiatrist. I've never seen a poor third world country child walk into ten miles to get water depressed. Never. That's all I have to say about depression. Never seen it. 
Someone says, go shopping. Shopping is good. Um, how to level up on a budget. Thrift shops. Ross. Borrow clothes. Poshmark. You know, thread up. Those are online thrift stores. Some of them have new stuff as well with tags still on it, but they, they sell it less because they don't want it, you know? So look on those sites. Thrift shops in expensive areas, yes. Because you could get like, I found a $500 jacket for $9 at a thrift store. I found a Burberry sweater for $4. That's worth $400 at a thrift store. I found, I mean, you can find some really nice expensive clothes if you know brands. And I found, what else I find? You could do it, you know, just go to the nice suburban areas, upper class, upper middle class suburban areas and Shop at the thrift stores around there, the Goodwills, the Goodwill Selects around there, and you'll find uh, nice pieces that are really expensive. Then you can even sell them online, like eBay, Poshmark, or whatever, and then go buy you what you want. Right? Mm -hmm. Like all that stuff that I found, I found um, Escada pants. I'm not, I don't wear any of them, they're up for sale. I don't want them. <laughs> I'm going to sell them and go buy what I want. Thank you, Divine Eye Society, for the nice donation. I appreciate that. Your goodwill is expensive. Go to the suburban areas. Mm -hmm. On the outskirts of town, you'll find better stuff. And there'll be less. Mm -hmm. Thrift on Westheimer. Mm -hmm. Goodwill outlets. Yeah. Goodwill is trying nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've been to some Goodwill selects that are more pricey than other ones. If you're in the city, they're more pricey. If you're outside of the city, they're less pricey. You know what I mean? So it just depends on where you go. Okay. You, you found a Louis Vuitton bag? Oh, cool. Okay. So I just want to make this video letting everyone know that, you know, your life can totally change by changing yourself, you know? Putting yourself first, looks do matter, whether you're ugly or beautiful, you know, you can still be attractive and put yourself first and keep yourself up and make yourself a priority no matter what. Okay. Because not everyone is going to be a perfect 10, but you can go from a two to at least a seven if you choose to. Okay. You don't have to keep going backwards. Okay. Do you think women's problem is getting started? I think it's change. A lot of women don't like change or they fear. Like they don't like it. But as like I'm a Pisces, I like change all the time. Every time I want to change, I, like every day I want to do something totally different as far as looks or dressing or, you know, something. So if you get into that, wanting to do something different each day, you'll, you're more likely to change or accept change and want to get started on something. Um, I know I, there are some women in the level up group who look just the same as they did as the day they started because they never started. And they're afraid of change, literally afraid of change, like physically afraid of change. And even though they try, they still look the same. And if you want to change, you have to put in effort and actually do work. Like, 
you have to actually take steps to change yourself. You know, talking about it is not the same as being about it. So men like change. Exactly. It takes a lot of work. OK, but so does working. I'd rather work on how I look than work for somebody else. You know, if I didn't look, the, if I didn't put effort into how I look, I would be working. Literally. Punching a clock or working or, you know, doing whatever I went to school to do. Or da, 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 da. I would be doing something. I would have a boss. <laughs> because I would, but I have an option now, you know. Looking decent gives me an option. That's just the truth. Mm -hmm. So when you wanted to stop working, you started looking for a man or just having. I just the day that I walked out of my job. I told my coworkers, forget this. I'm going to go find me a man to take care of me. I'm done. <laughs> so. Yeah, when I met James, I was actually going to work for my old boss um, because I needed to do something because um, I was trying to kind of, you know, work with him. You know what I mean? He was he was uh, one of the targets. But instead, I met James before I left. OK, and that's how it was. So. <laughs> so then, yeah. Never. I always had the option of not working after that. So, but if I was ugly, I, if I was ugly, didn't care about myself, didn't take care of myself, let myself go, back then I would have still been working. Never would have, he never would have walked over to me. I never would have been there. I would have been somebody's job. But, There you go. If you. So, yeah, I'm, you know, I understood the power of looks from a young age because I've seen it. Like I've seen women who look good don't really work. I've seen it. Um. Mm hmm. So make sure. Like a lot of the ladies in the comments have said, since they've leveled up, they didn't have to work anymore. They don't have to work anymore. Somebody's taking care of them. You know, it's it's amazing what a man will do for you if you look good. I know a lot of you guys don't believe that, but there's so many women who no longer have to work. It's like, OK. I look good. You want to be my man. This is what I want my man to do for me. Pay my bills. I don't want to work. The man is like, okay, because he can have the woman he wants. And to him, that amount of money or whatever it takes to be with that person is not a lot to them. They don't miss it. It's just like having a subscription um, for a streaming app on your phone. It's like, I won't miss that money. It's just like, your automatic deductions from your account every month for a, a gym membership. You're not going to miss the money. You don't even notice that it's gone. It's not a big deal to you if you got money. Okay. <laughs> the difference, and a lot of people will say, oh, that they're a simp. No, they're not. They just have money. They can afford what they actually want. They don't have to settle. They don't have to demand that their woman works because she don't have to. You know, um, it's not being a simp when you have money so flowing that you don't even miss it. Okay. Um, and it's like, you know, a, a stuff that's taken out of my account every month, if you add it all up, that's someone's like, whole month paycheck, just the little stuff I don't even miss. And what I'm saying is money is different to every person. Like money is different to every person. You know, if you got money like that, you don't miss it. It doesn't matter. 
you're not a simp. You you can just afford the lifestyle and the type of woman you actually are attracted to. Okay. It's not a big deal to you. So anyone that's saying you're a simp, a simp would be more of a person who can't afford the woman that they want and is being taken advantage of and used and then, you know, uh, being made a fool of. But if you can actually afford the woman you want, it's not a simp. It's just, I got it like that. Okay. So if somebody's broke, spending their paycheck on you, and they can't afford it, barely surviving, not taking care of their own kids, taking care of you. That, yeah, that's a sim. That's a sim. But if your man just got flowing money and your bills are nothing to him and he has enough financial you know, abundance to take care of you and the family and everything else, then it's not being a sim. It's just being paid. OK, that's all that is being paid. Do you think these uh, women who are married to basketball players are out working? Is LeBron James a simp? OK. <laughs> so if you're not paid and you're trying to pay to keep a woman in your life, yes, you're a simp. But if you paid. And. You don't miss the money and you got the woman you want, you're not a simp. Okay. So when whenever I see the word simp, I know the person is not paid. Whenever I see someone commenting that, because that's how they think. They don't understand a full financial flow of money that's not missed. They don't understand that concept. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Let's see. Do women like men with muscle injections and fake hair? Only if you're rich. They don't care. You got some money? Don't matter. <clears throat> Have some money. They'll like anything you do. Most of them. <laughs> Spend that money on them. They'll like you without all of that. I promise you. <laughs> Save your money. You don't need to improve yourself. Use that on her. There's this joke, and I think it was like this this old dude was at um, the gym and he was asking his personal trainer, which which machine should I use to impress women the most? And the and the uh, the personal trainer said the ATM. The ATM. Okay. The ATM machine outside. Exactly. That's the one. So women become beautiful for the sake of money, not love or relationship. Why would a beautiful woman be with a broke man, though? Like, I love you. I'm going to be beautiful for you. Bring me home that minimum wage. No, you know why? Because they want it all. They want the life they deserve. You know. I'm sorry, but it's true. Do you know how much makeup costs? Do you know how much cosmetics cost? If they were with someone just for love, they couldn't look good. Beauty costs money. Okay. <laughs> I feel like you only have your youth for a short amount of time. So why not look beautiful all the time? Exactly. Because think about it. When you get old and wrinkly and you can barely wear makeup because you got too many wrinkles or, um, you know, or all your hairs turn gray and you got to wear wigs for real and you don't have to wear wigs or you got to wear a certain type of wigs. You know, you, you can't even, uh, you, and you're all hunched over. You can't, you know, be young and beautiful now. Don't wait till it's too late. Even when I'm old, I'm still going to, I'm going to be that old lady with the full face of makeup. I'm still, still trying. <laughs> Yes, I'm going to be the old lady that still looks good, okay? But better to know how you look good as a young woman as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got a rich man. He can pay for surgery, yeah. Well, the women in my 
family don't really age that bad. So I'll probably never need surgery. You know. My mom still looks good. She barely has wrinkles. Okay. Most wealthy women aren't wearing makeup. It's very much understood. Yeah, they're wearing makeup and the products are still expensive and their skincare products are very expensive and they have a dermatologist and they have, you know, uh, they get facials and things like that and blah, 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 blah. Yes, they might not wear as much product because their lifestyle and the places where they live and the people they hang out with is more understated. But their products still cost a lot of money, okay? If your lip balm is $50, you know, if your illumination uh, moisturizer is $92, it's still expensive, okay? If your mascara is by Christian Dior and it costs 30 something dollars, that's still expensive, you know? It doesn't matter how much you put on. The product still costs money because they're uh, of the quality. And no matter if you got on green eyeshadow or no eyeshadow, um, you're still paying high price for cosmetics or moisturizers or creams or whatever. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I got to get rid of my locks. Good thing I'm only 19 and I'm having a little. Uh huh. Well, you know, a lot of people change. You know, you're not going to look the same way forever anyway. You might as well make sure you're benefiting from what you look like. That's all I'm going to say. Um, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Angelina Jolie is beautiful. Why do you think he divorced her? Because he's already had her. Okay, he's he's been with her forever. They got a bunch of kids. I mean, after you look at someone every day, all day, and she seems like she don't even like him anymore. You know, Angelina Jolie seems like she has attitude. She's not all after him. She can care less about him. You can tell she's into herself and she does not care, you know. Like I said, he can divorce her tomorrow and she can go get a billionaire the next day, like literally. Because she is attractive, okay? She's not worried about no Brad. Who's Brad? He's an actor, okay? She can go get some billionaire if she wanted to. You know, they're trying to find out, email her, email her managers. I just want one date with Angelina. Can you arrange it? You know, them billionaires are trying to find her. <laughs> so that's how I feel about her. Like, he's, Brad is not ugly, but Angelina is a prize, you know? Angelina would be a prize, like... No billionaire woman is going to want Brad Pitt, but a billionaire man will want Angelina. That's how it is, okay? Whoever Brad Pitt ends up with will never compare to Angelina Jolie, okay? That's the best, that's the best he can do. That's it. He didn't hit the, the top level with her. <laughs> so he can't do any better than her, but she can do better than him. That's the whole point. Because she looks like that. She's getting older though. Yeah, but she still looks good. She's still going to look better than anybody that he can get. You know what I'm saying? And if she wanted to, she could get plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. Beauty fade. Stop it. He has money. Yeah, he has money, but he's never going to get another Angelina. I mean, he loved Jennifer Aniston for her. Okay. Mm -hmm. B could get whoever she wants, but she's staying with Jay. 
Yeah, they have another alter they have another mission going on there. It's not about any of that. It's another mission totally. Okay, a woman, yeah, a woman turns 18 every day. That's true. And a man becomes a, a millionaire every day. <laughs> okay. No man wants to put up with all that baggage. If he can afford it, he can. Them kids are getting older. Shoot, in about five years, they'll be grown. <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're calculating it out. Hey, let the dog in. Thank you. So, thank you, Sasha. Oh, is Layla letting the dog in? Go let the dog in. What? Okay. Who let the dog out? I asked Layla. What did you say about Rihanna? I missed it. Oh, I just said she's a Pisces and she's always changing. And someone was saying men like change. I was like, yeah. Okay. Girl, you come, my comebacks are strong if he could afford it. Afford. Hi, Sasha. Hi, skinniness. <laughs> my baby. Upstairs, probably. Or I think I heard her meow. Maybe she's in the kitchen. Oh, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Rihanna's 30, or it's going to be 30, I think. She's 30, 30. Okay. Adorable. She's my daughter. Hey, Layla. What do you think about Lil' Kim going bankrupt? I think she could have gone a totally different way, but she was too concerned about what people thought about her and self-conscious. She messed up her whole look. You know, she messed herself up. Like she didn't level up. She leveled crazy. <laughs> she could have gotten a millionaire. Yeah. She just leveled crazy. There's one thing to level up and there's another thing to totally change who you are and what you look like. Can you ask a woman for money on the first date? Sure. She ain't going to give it to you, though. Unless she a pick me. <laughs> should should have pulled up Eve. Yeah, they say Eve's getting ready to come out with a new something. New song, new video, something. Um, Shira, so you think once you get your looks right, that's 80% closer to a sugar day? Um, yeah, I mean, it's super easy. Men value looks, that's it. Getting, yeah. I agree. You should always strive to be the best version of yourself. Yes, definitely. Mind and looks. Yeah, I don't care about the mind. Believe me, just looks, mostly looks. Yes, you got to understand what they're talking about as men, but you cannot be smarter than them. Okay. And most women are. Most of the time. So. Just pretend to be dumb. That's all I say. Act dumb, but understand what they're talking about. That's the that's as smart as they need you to be. <laughs> okay. Who are these dudes? Yikes! Beautiful teeth always is a must. Five dollar leggings. I may not be a hood in hood for those styles. <laughs> what? Rich men love intellectual banter and someone who can keep up, at least in California. That's true. But when you're smarter than them, it's competition. When you are correcting their mistakes, because you're actually really smart, it's competition. You know, a woman is very smart. 
a lot of women are very smart. And if the man is talking about something that they know a lot about, they're going to have to pull it back and be impressed with whatever he's telling you. Intellectual banter, not intellectual discussion. There's a difference. Okay. So I've, you know, I've had to, I had to pull back all the time because when people start talking to me, I'm like, mm. Everything they're saying, I know half of it's wrong, but I'm not going to correct them. It's not my place. I'm not going to get what I need out of them. So what I'm saying is like a lot of guys think that they're really smart. But just think about how smart women are. Okay, you don't you don't understand how much they want to correct you when you're wrong, but they don't. So you can keep your masculinity. You understand that a lot of the things that you're saying sometimes are wrong. Or that there's new studies that you haven't researched yet or new discoveries or blah, 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 blah. And that whatever you're talking about was 10 years ago or five years ago or two years ago because technology and all this other stuff is constantly changing and improving. And there's new evidence and studies and things out on a daily basis. I'm not going to correct you. I'm just going to let you talk. Okay, so that's what I mean about. When a man wants you to have a mind, it means he wants you to be able to understand him so he can impress you. That's basically it. Hey, what you doing? I'm hanging my mom. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just doing, <laughs> just doing. <laughs> I know it's not you. Okay. Uh, hey, Farja. Hey, guys. Like the party for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Mm -hmm. education is sexy it is until you have to live with it like a guy say education is sexy but wait till you're wait till you marry a woman who's smarter than you and starts telling you what to do and starts earning more money than you then it's not sexy anymore it's a competition and you're losing they had i told y'all I, I watched this study i looked it up uh men find Educated, smart, independent women, sexy from a distance, from a distance. When they have to actually date, conversate, talk, or, you know, uh, be uh, in a relationship with, they don't like it anymore because now she's outshining you. So they don't like it anymore. It is true. Because they start to compete with you and you don't want a competition. <laughs> it's not a partnership. You know what a partnership is? It's not a partnership because it's it should be, oh, okay, this is a woman that I like, that I want to impress. I want her to feel safe and secure. That's not a partnership, okay? A partnership, you can have a partnership with a man. You can have a partnership with anybody. When you're with a woman, you need to act like a man, like a gentleman. She, she expects you to be more masculine than she is. She expects you to make her feel safe and secure. And if you can't do that, then yes, it is a business partnership. It's not a, a masculine and feminine relationship. It's not a marriage. You don't have a wife. You have a partner. You don't have a wife or a girlfriend. You have an equal partner, which is not mm, the same. It's not the same, you know. Uh, most guys like to impress women, like to show off, like to feel masculine. But if you're dating an equal partner, you will never feel that way ever, 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 ever. And eventually your nature, your masculine nature is going to want to feel that way. And so you're going to go find some other chick who's not as bright, not as smart and not competition. And you're going to go try to talk with her. Because everything you say is, wow, you're right. I didn't know that. You're so smart. Oh, yes. Oh. You know, now your ego is being stroked when before it was being threatened. So you like the idea, but you don't like 
the actuality. And once you figure that out, you leave Bob the Builder wife or Bob the Builder partner, girlfriend, and you go get the woman that makes you feel like a man after you can afford it. Because honestly, it sounds good. Partnership is not romantic at all. Wife, girlfriend, I want to be a wife. I want to be a girlfriend. I don't want to be no partner. I'm so sorry. Don't want to be no partner with you. If you need a partner, that means I get half the say so in everything and I will pull rank because I'm a woman. I will say, oh no, it has to be my way. We're equal partners. But since I'm the woman, I'll cut you off sexually. So then it's unequal. Then she has all the power and you have none. And you're left to go find someone who will still try to find you masculine after you're emasculated daily by a smart, independent, intelligent woman partner. Okay, they will, I promise you. And you think it sounds good, but it's not good. Why? Because you're going to grow tired of it. You're going to feel emasculated on a daily basis. When you have kids, she's going to correct you in front of your children. Make you look stupid. Okay? And you're going to feel even dumber and dumber every day. And you're going to be so upset. You're going to start having your midlife crisis and leave. Pay her half or whatever you got and the divorce. And go start over with somebody else that still finds you impressive if you got some money. Okay? That's how it's done. You have done that two times. <laughs> My friend acts like a man. She bosses her man around. Exactly. Because that's who he, he, he wanted independence. He wanted an independent woman, partner. So that's what he got. Usually when you have a partnership, one is always over the other, no matter what, no matter what, there's always one that has more influence and that's how it always will be. There's always going to be one dominant partner and it's always usually going to be the woman. Mm -hmm. So you can't have an equal partner and be masculine. You just can't. It doesn't work that way. Hmm. What if he can't afford the divorce? I'm going to pay. I got to pay for it. Girl, no. If he can't afford the divorce, then he don't need to leave his wife. He needs to stay there right where he is and you need to go move on. Okay. <laughs> she tells him what time to go to bed. I'm sure she does. Uh, it's like that in Dubai. I need to find a man who is Emirati. Okay. Get a sponsor. Exactly. Now, how, how to track long distance if you're poor over the phone? <laughs> oh, gosh. Work on that. Work on yourself first. Get some money first. Okay. <laughs> Get on free dating sites. I don't know. Make him pay for the divorce. Exactly. Can't afford a divorce. Can't afford a sugar baby. Exactly. Or don't want a divorce and just lying. Your ex tried cutting you off to get her way. She always crumbled and gave in. Okay. Well, she's a pick me. <laughs> oh, shoot. Remember Sharon Stone in the movie Casino? <laughs> yep. Shira, how do you get him to rush to wedding quick after he proposed you? Don't want to wait around a year. Um, tell him you're pregnant and you don't want to get married with a baby. Do a fake pregnancy test. <laughs> yeah. It'll work. How can I get money out of him without meeting him in person, only online? Mm, that's going to be hard unless he really, really likes you and he's really, really old and gullible. Okay. 
<laughs> Being a liar isn't cool, but it is effective and beneficial. Okay. I know y'all don't agree with some of y'all don't agree with lying, but everybody lies. Sorry. <laughs> everybody lies. Everybody lies. Tell him you need to make up and close. Well, I don't really suggest getting money first because most guys aren't going to do that, you know, unless you're like, unless they're real desperate. Okay. <sighs> unless they just want to, you know, unless they just really like you a lot, they'll get They'll give it to you if you just ask. Mm -hmm. What are some free dating sites? Uh, I don't know. I'm not on any dating sites, but a lot of the girls in the Level Up group, they're on some. They know a lot. If y'all know some, put some in the comments. Mm -hmm. Fake pregnancy? Are you trying to get women killed? Nope. If you can lie and say you don't have a girlfriend and cheat on your girlfriend, or if you can lie and say, you know, you got money and you're broke, then why can't we lie how we want to lie? <laughs> we can lie. We can lie too. Women can lie just as good as men. We're going to lie where it benefits us the same as you guys lie where it benefits you. Okay. Okay, if you don't want us to lie, you stop lying first. You stop lying first, and then we'll stop lying, maybe. <laughs> uh, yep. Do girls in the gold digging group use dating apps? Some of them. Mm -hmm. Miscarriage after the wedding. Whoops. Yeah. So, which, hey, you seem to talk the talk, but let me ask you, can you walk the walk? Of course. I've been walking the walk for many years. <laughs> yeah. Because she gave up most of, okay, um, y'all are talking to each other. Mm-hmm. Most guys will say they are single when in reality they are married. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, if you can marry, if you, if men can lie about being married, we can lie about being pregnant. Okay. That's the same thing, basically. To a woman, anyway. Mm-hmm. How... That's why you need this game. Exactly. And these days, it's very hard to tell if the woman is lying about being pregnant. There's too much technology out there now. Free people selling uh, pregnancy tests online. Um, I need to get him to chase me again. I messed up and lost power. I need it back. And then you got to take it back. You got to cut him off. Stop calling him. Stop texting him. Act like he don't exist. And get you a hobby. You level yourself up. Until he starts chasing you. What if he makes you take the test again? Buy a couple of them. Get you some disappearing ink. Draw your own line in. Mm -hmm. Get you some secret ink. They, they sell that at the Dollar Tree. They got these pens. Let me tell y'all. They have these pens where if you put a shine a certain type of light on it, you can see it. Or if you get it wet, you can see it or whatever. You, you know, they got that stuff. Now, purple marker, disappearing ink, reappearing ink. They got all that stuff. Now, I told y'all technology will help you. <laughs> oh, I'm pregnant. Get you a fake ultrasound online. <laughs> mm 
Name the baby. Start buying baby clothes. You got to make, you got to set up the illusion. Okay. If you're buying baby clothes, they're not. This lady did that on Glee. He was, he was thinking for an eight months. She, he believed her. She had a fake stomach and everything. <laughs> but if you rush it, if you rush the wedding so your stomach won't get big. And he says, okay, because you're pregnant. And you can do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. So, where is, <laughs> so yeah, I, I just say, you know, if you're trying to rush it, do it like that. Most men will go ahead and go forward with it. If he already asked you to marry him, that's not a big deal. Because what if you were pregnant? What if you did have a miscarriage after you got married? It could be true. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why women aren't such rush to get married, Ella. Uh, some women culture, they they need to be married, you know. I say wait, but some women, their cultures are different and you're supposed to be married soon, you know? Um, it could be their age. It could be she thinks he's going to change his mind. It could be whatever. Honey, do you know where my tablet is? No. Ooh. Sorry. Look under the couch. Okay. What if he hates you after he finds out you lied? He, how's he going to find out you lied? If you're a good liar, you never find out. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, y'all. Yeah, if you're a good liar, you won't ever find out. You gotta be good with it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. After he sells, we, okay, uh, please help how to attract over phone long distance. I don't know. Like, it's 2018. <laughs> if you don't have internet, you got to find internet. Or they still have those, do they still have those call-in lines? Quest, Quest Love or whatever. <laughs> they still got that. Hotline. Sure, you're a horrible liar. That's my problem. I'm too honest. Well, then become a good liar. Okay? That's my honest opinion. <laughs> okay. I can call those hotlines. <laughs> what time do you go? I don't know. I go live whenever I feel like it. Men who are... Spending their money want to see you just go out. Yes, go out. Yeah, you're never supposed to do that with the sugar daddy until he spent at least five to five thousand or more on you. Okay, don't be done. I say even more, but. Or not at all. Just switch and get another one when he starts wanting more. <laughs> hey, Mickey. Oh, yes. We were talking about, I actually mentioned you. And I was saying, you know, how a lot of the ladies in the group, us included, me included, are so, look so different than we did last year. And our lives have improved because of it. And how putting yourself first as a priority can totally improve your life. And that if anyone's doubting it, they should try it, make that change, you know, start their process, doing what needs to be done to have the life they want. Mm -hmm. 
So we were just talking about that and how people treat you better when you take care of yourself and look attractive versus when you just don't care. Um, mm -hmm. How do I feel about plastic surgery? I just want a little lower. Um, I feel like a lot of people who, okay, I'll say this. I know a lot of people who are talking about plastic surgery until they leveled up and they didn't even need it anymore. You know, it's self-discipline. If it's just something stubborn that you can't do or get rid of it, no matter how hard you try, then yes. But if you can do it yourself, then do it yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't have the discipline or the lifestyle change, it's going to come back anyway. If it's liposuction or whatever. Uh, so that's what I think. If you can't do it yourself, no matter how hard you've tried and everything in your power you've done, but it's a stubborn area and everything else looks good and you just one little piece of area, then yeah, go do it. Um, I had to get my money back for, for your surgery. Oh, really? You did? Well, shopping spree. Hi. You didn't even get it. <laughs> um, do y'all play, do y'all pay fully out of pocket for surgery? I don't know. Do y'all pay out of pocket for surgery? <laughs> Some people do. I don't know. I think they finance it now. I don't know. You see it. Oh, good luck finding another one. Why does a man keep telling me he has been looking for a house? That's that's dusty talk. Okay. When a man says I've been looking for a house, it means potential husband material, money that he don't really have because he's looking instead of having. It's just like a, it's a line. It's just a, it's a, Sasha said the devil is a lie. <laughs> the devil is a lie, Chi Chi. <laughs> He's a lie. It's a scam. Scam. We say, oh, I'm looking for a house. I need you to pay this much for the house that you're paying. He's going to take that money and leave you. <laughs> Don't take the money. How about I'm building a house? I'm having my house built. You want to see some pictures? Want to drive by? You want to see the contract? You want to see <laughs> the closing? Would you accompany me to the closing? How about that? <laughs> You're like, okay, well, call me when you find one. <laughs> mm -mm. Anybody watch Passion Jones on YouTube? She's leveled up. Yeah. She's leveled the hell up after telling her big fans, her fans big is beautiful. Yeah, I, I'm subscribed to her. I mean, she's still considered a plus size girl. She just don't have to, you know, maybe she don't have to worry about diabetes and uh, high blood pressure anymore. But she still represents for plus size women. I think she's wrong for it. I think she did well for herself, you know, who cares? She got the surgery, it worked, she looked good, she happy, she still got viewers. <laughs> mm -hmm. If any woman wants to lose weight real fast, do a seven-day water fast. Wow, that's too much. I need some food. I just went to Torchy's Tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Torchies. I think mentality has a lot to do with how you're treated too. I didn't really have a problem. Yeah. Some women don't have that problem, but they still get treated a lot better after they level up. You know, they get even more bonuses. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. B girl. 
I'm 40. See, she, I'm 47, but I look younger. Should I go for older men? Yes, of course. <laughs> see, here's the thing. When you're really a certain age and you still try to date the same age men, it still always backfires because your mental is 47. Okay. So you're not going to act and sound like you're younger. Because you know too much. And that's kind of what they want. The young, dumb chick. <laughs> so unless you're willing to act younger. Mm -hmm. Go for the older guys, of course. Thirty six is under. Thirty six is and under is childish. Yes. And men, of course. Want to say to a man to make, what to say to a man to make him buy you an apartment? Um, abracadabra. Uh, I hypnotize you to buy me an apartment. You better go study some hypnosis. Okay. Go get you some, go get you a book on hypnosis. Study hypnosis, go get trained in hip hypnotism and go try it. I promise you it'll work. <laughs> take them to counseling session. Take them to a counseling section session. Get you a hypnosis, a hypnotist. Ooh, I'm dirty. Oh, we're gonna go get a massage. It's a guided meditation massage. Hire you a hypnotist, pay pay him a little some change or her some change, and hypnotize him to go buy you an apartment. Hey, why not? I, you know, I would if I could. <laughs> you laughing? I, you know that there's cricket hypnotists out there. Like, look, I got a little proposition for you. Now I need to test you on somebody first. I'm gonna leave the room. You get that teacup out, do whatever you got to do. I need this apartment. <laughs> Rico, yes. Just get the money and buy your own apartment. Exactly. If you can get it. <laughs> I'm going to see. I'm going to see if they have hypnotists for hire. Hold on, this might be a whole new chapter in life. Hypnotist for hire. See what I can get, man. <laughs> hire a stage hypnotist. Hire a hypnotist. Look into my eyes. You are going to hire a hypnotist for your party. You know these people need money. I was I was duped by a hypnotist. I'm gonna tell y'all the story. Y'all wanna hear my story about the hypnotist? Okay, so one time I went to this new age spiritual uh day, and this dude was like, I can cleanse your auras, da 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 da. I can cleanse your auras and all for free. And then if you want other things done, then, you know, I'll give you my price. So I was like, oh, OK, for free. So he takes you into this room and this this lady sits in the corner and she pretends like she reads. She pretends to read your aura and he's basically hypnotizing you with his words. He's saying, OK, on the count of three, you're going to uh, uh, relax and and they're going to feel this and then you're going to lose uh feeling in your leg. If you fall, it's okay. You can lean back. I'll catch you. Da, da, da. He starts talking real fast, real fast, real fast. And he's like, okay, I'm going to flush. I'm going to cleanse your aura. You're going to feel it fall out. You might fall or you might get weak in your knees, but it's okay. And one, two, three. Psh. Then all of a sudden you think this food and cleansed your auras because whatever he was saying, what he was doing, right? And I was like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. But I knew he was hypnotized. No, I knew it was hypnosis now. Come on. So I, I think, and then his um, his little side partner, because there was three of them, his little three 
they had like a they had four people. One was the the lady that was reading your fake aura. The other chick was the the sob story. She was saying how bad and terrible her life was and how these people took her in and made her life better and you know, she would do anything for them. They had her hypnotized too probably. But um so that people would buy services from them. I still wouldn't buy nothing. I'm like, mm-hmm, that's nice. Y'all know me. I ain't finna, mm-hmm, that's nice. So when they said free, I'm like, okay, let me go see what this is about. See what this, see what this is about. So you can hire some hypnotists. And I just found that you can't look. Top hypnotist near me. Okay. There you go. Yep. Say, look, I really like it, this guy, but I need him to propose. Hey, look, I really like this dude, but I need him to buy me an apartment. What can you do for me? How much do you charge? Let's just, you know, we'll pretend you're somebody else when you come in and whatever, whatever, you know. <laughs> Sketchy. Exactly. You'll pass on the hypnotist. I might just try for fun. I don't see how much they cost. See if I can get these kids to keep their room clean. <laughs> um, I'm out. This is getting too extra. Okay, bye. <laughs> so... You know, if if these people can do that and scam people into thinking they're getting their auras cleansed, it's it's super easy to fool a man. Okay. <laughs> mhm. Mm Wouldn't that get you bad karma? I don't. Yeah, it would if you believe in karma. For those that do, it might. But for those who don't, nope. We have to make him believe. Exactly. <laughs> um, don't be mean, rich lady who doesn't t tip. <laughs> I want the money so I can have one on the side good you know most men that have a lot of money can do whatever they want most of them hypnosis is taking it far it's just a method you know all is fair in love and war remember <laughs> y'all remember that rule all A-L-L -L, is fair in love and war <laughs> Trap is hypnosis is simple and it's fun. You have to enjoy doing this. Exactly. You know, I always said I was gonna learn that. That was on my to-do list to learn hypnosis. Or at least a little bit, but I never got around to it. <laughs> Maybe I need to do it. Mm-hmm. Too far. What about men who use sex to lock you up? I'm not weak. I, I don't think uh, that's not something that will get me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not like gaga over stuff like that. I need money. Okay. Um, <laughs> you could do it. You could do everything in the world. You could do your best tricks, do flips. It still ain't going to do nothing for me unless you got some money. Okay. <laughs> I don't care. Those dusties have nothing but sex to offer. Exactly. Thank you. Wham, bam. Thank you, sir. Where my money? Right? Mm -hmm. You didn't impress me. The only thing that can impress me is not. It's something that, uh, that I can spend. <laughs> so, no, I don't. I don't look at it like that. Like, I'm a grown woman. I got priorities. I got expectations 
in life. You know, I don't, that kind of stuff is for teenagers, you know, or women who just started sleeping with men. <laughs> if you're ruled by that, if that's, if that keeps you in check, then your priorities are messed up. <laughs> okay. So I don't understand, like, mm -mm. how do you get money from men? Make sure they like you way more than you like them, then ask. Mm -hmm. The Crypt Keeper better have some money, exactly. <laughs> Or maybe just anyone in her level up group already. What's your guy's opinion? I'm a stay-at-home wife already, but don't want to be a Bob the Builder wife. Would her level up group be for me? Okay, if you're already married and you've already agreed to pay half these bills, your husband married you because you agreed to pay. Because if you would have told him, I'm not paying half of nothing, do you think he would have married you? Okay, you're not paying anything? Good. Don't ever pay anything. Don't ever, and, and don't ever pay anything and don't work. Or open your own business or do whatever you need to do. But leveling up as far as looks, mentality, how to treat him to get better results definitely will help you. Yes, the group will definitely help you if... You want to improve those things and get him to notice you, treat you better, make you a priority and things like that. Yes, definitely. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. Someone said I should do a video on how to leave a dusty. Like the steps you need to take what you need to put in place before you can actually leave, how to leave. I'm like, just go, like save your money and be out. <laughs> Don't tell them what you're doing. Never, never tell a man what you're doing. Just do it. Okay. That's my number one thing. Don't talk about it. Just do it one day. When he comes home, there ain't nobody there. <laughs> okay. If, if he lives with you, fake eviction notice. Okay? Get you some little couple of boxes, start pretending you're packing. Tell him y'all got to be out or the sheriff is coming to kick you out by this date. Can you help me, please? Can, no, I can't help you. Well, then you need to go because my ex is going to come help me pack. He will pack his little stuff up and go back to his mama. I promise you. Okay? You can print one online. Then tell them your ex came through, pay for your house, and y'all back together. And you you might be pregnant if he fi figures it out. <laughs> get, that's how you get a dusty out of your house. Financial issues. Can you help me? You got to go back to your mama's house. The sheriff is coming. We, you know, my ex is coming to help me move because you ain't got no car. So you got to be gone or my ex's cousin or my ex's dad or something. If he's a jealous person, my ex's dad is going to come help me. Something. Or my dad. Whatever you want to put up in there. So he, he got to go, you know. So he don't want to stick around because he's embarrassed. Then you fix your house back up. Turn on your TV, unpack your little three boxes that you tried to pretend to pack and relax. There you go. Mm -hmm. and then he's going to drive by a couple of times and like, I thought you was evicted. Oh, my man came, my ex came through and sent me the money. But, you know, he, he, he has the key now. Because we kind of back together. 
He saved me. He saved my my apartment or my house or whatever. You did that one? <laughs> Good. Okay. Y'all gotta be smart with this. This is this is chess, not checkers. You don't want a man in your house. Be strategic. You don't want him there. Get him out. Have a have a fake eviction notice sent to yourself. Okay, go mail it out. Have him have him there when the the, the dude comes to the house and hands it to you. <laughs> It don't cost that much money. Okay. Am I married? Yes. And you can't call because he bought the phone. Yup. You're so dead. Wow. No, but I'm serious. Like, sometimes women don't level up or leave because they feel stuck or they don't know how to get out of situations or they feel guilty about stuff. But with these type of ideas that y'all are actually laughing at, it works, okay? With let little drama. You, ain't, you know, there's no arguing. There, there's no violence. There's only fear of being homeless or fear of, you know, uh, having to look at the girl's parents because you too broke to pay, to pay to rent. And they leave, okay? On their own with no problem. And head for the heels quicker than you can say, I need some money. You know, and when they're out, there's your peaceful breakup. There's your get out of my house with no arguing. There's your you sorry man. You can't he even help me. So you got to go back to your mama's. That's telling him that he's a dusty and he can't do nothing and he can't help you. He can't save you all in one time with no arguing. You just killed eight birds with one stone. Okay. And all it's going to cost you is, you know, whatever the postage is to send yourself a fake eviction notice to be signed. Okay. Or you can beat him home wherever he goes, tape it to your door. You don't want to even want to go to the post office. <laughs> but. I've told I've told women to do this. That, I can't get him out of my house. I don't know what to do. He just won't leave. He's just sitting there. I'm like, get your fake eviction notice. Print it online. They say it worked. It works. I've told that to several women. And when it works. How to join my level up group. Go to my uh, YouTube channel page. Just like click on my name. It's going to take you to my channel page and click on about at the top and it's going to take you to my Facebook link and then message me instant message me yes all you got yeah so you're never trapped you're only within moral bounds okay you step out of those moral bounds you step out of that box there are so many ways to get rid of dusties peacefully okay so he, what if he pays your bills and you want him out? Why don't you just keep him paying your bills, save your money, and you move? Unless it's your house. Uh, until you can replace him and another, someone else paying your bills, then keep him around if he's paying bills. <laughs> I'll say he's not super dusty, but... Keep them around so you can replace them with something better. Yes, on Facebook, message me. Yes, and I'll get I'll be, I'll get back with you tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, the man is my ex husband. He does pay my. If you're okay, if you're in a bad financial situation and you can't leave, then you might be the dusty. You got to get your money up. Hi, Sasha. What do you, you know, need a Dusty? Huh? No, I was just saying you need to get some money. You need to save your money. You need to get a way to save your own money so you can be out. Okay. Make me a respect you. 
how to get your money up. Get some money. Like, go start, go get a second job. Get some overtime if you have a job, you know. Find an extracurricular way to make money, like online or something. <laughs> sell your sell footage of your feet to foot fetish people. They'll pay. Shoot. Some crazy people out there. <laughs> I've had people put I've had people donate to see, see my foot on here. Okay. There's a thousand, a million ways to make money. Like Jay-Z say, I got a million ways to get it. Choose one. I remember this girl, um, this girl told me about this. She said she sells her dirty socks on some channel. I mean, on some website, eBay or something. And people buy it because they're foot fetishes. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. And I joke around about it. Yeah, I can sell my sock. Ha, ha, ha. I've never actually sold a sock. But if I could, I mean, if you could make money off of selling your dirt sock, that's how you get money. You know, you got to be creative in this world. <laughs> if you have no money and there's crazy people out there, and I'm not going to call them crazy because everybody has a fetish, that want to see your foot and will pay you some money to, to see a foot. Then do it. That's how you get your pay. That's how you get your money. You know, I'm serious. <laughs> if it costs you five dollars to mail a sock and you get a hundred dollars for it, or fifty dollars for it, it's worth it. That's how you stack your money. OK, be creative. You don't have to just have money in the traditional way. Right. <laughs> That's what I would do. Like, I'm serious. If if I was in a desperate situation and I'm broke and there is no way for me to make money, I'm going to put some Vaseline on these feet and get, and get to snapping with pictures and videos. I promise you. <laughs> Look, now the foot people are going to come. Let me see your feet. Let me see your feet. Bet you'll get money real quick. And you can, you know, you don't have to show your face. You can keep your pride. Just. I remember. When, I remember we we used to try to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is hilarious. And someone we were, we were. I ain't even going to talk about it. There's some girls in the group who remember the foot fetish thing. It was hilarious. <laughs> Okay. Eight. <laughs> so anyway, <sighs> there's always a way to get money. Okay. There you go. I'm just, I just put that out there. So you understand. You don't have to sell blood. <laughs> I packed all my ex's stuff and left it at his mama's front door. What? Good for you. I love women helping other women. Yes. So whatever you do, don't don't go get medically, don't let them do medical tests on you. Okay, don't be in there with the crackheads. Okay. I'm going to go donate blood and join a gold dish. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Yeah, there's better way. Just use your brain. Just think. Look, men are easy to get money from. They are the easiest. Think about it. It's easier to get money from a man if you're a woman than it is to get money from another woman. Okay. Um, you you got to be smart though with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Q 
can a man can men extract money from women? They do all the time. The pick me women, the pick me women will pay a man to stay with them. Just to say they have a man. Those are the kind of girls that will give you money. You know? How do you join the Level Up group? Go to my YouTube channel page. Just click on my name under the video uh, when it's over and go to the About section. Or there's a little Facebook icon in the in the artwork. Or you can go to the About section and click on my Facebook link and just message me. Mm hmm. You can go on Craigslist to donate your eggs or be a surrogate mother. See, that's too much. Like, yeah, you can get, yeah, you can do that, but that's really a lot of work because you got to take pills, you got to go have them extract eggs, you got to be healthy, you can't do this, you can't do that, you got to be a certain age. That's too much work. What you can do is use what you have to get what you want. Okay. There's what, what's that app where people pay to just talk to you or text you? You get paid per text or whatever, however long you texting these people. That's money right there. I get paid. I have so many ways I get paid. Let me show you. I have Ibotta. Every time I go to the store and take a picture of my receipt or whatever I bought that's on there, they send me money back. I, I use Ebates. Every time I shop online, I get money back. I have Pinterest. I sell all the stuff I don't want anymore. I mean, not Pinterest, uh, Poshmark. I sell stuff in, like clothes, shoes, whatever I don't want anymore. Um, I have online store. I have a couple YouTube channels. I got groups. You know, you got to have several ways to make money without having to work for somebody, you know. And even though these little apps sound stupid, if I go and look at my balance and how much that I've earned from them, it ain't stupid. Okay. I just let it pile up. Then I transfer it. Because I'm a shop anyway, you know. Mm -hmm. So there is no link to join the group. Just write me on Facebook. Go to my channel page on YouTube. Click the little Facebook icon or go to the about section under my under my uh, YouTube and click on the Facebook link. That will take you to my Facebook. Instant message me. Okay. The group is private. You're not going to be able to find it. You have to be added to it. Okay. There you go. So someone said phone sex operator. <laughs> hey, if it's, if it's getting you paid. Right? doesn't matter. Um, you use Ebates? Yep, I do too. Should we get with a very attractive older man? Okay. It don't matter how he looks. Just get with somebody with some money, baby. Okay. Older man with money. Um, so, yeah. Several ways to make money without ever answering to anyone. Mm-hmm. How do I get a sugar mama? Mm -hmm. Look good, lie, tell you love her. She's the only one. You the soul. She's your soulmate. You know. I don't know. Whatever floats her boat. Mm -hmm. Let's see. He needs to be cute with muscles. <laughs> you need a men's group? If I had a men's group, do you really think they would pay to join? And they can't even pay for dinner on a date? <clears throat> when are you going to do a house tour? Ooh, maybe after the maids come, child. I I really don't want to do a house tour because I I don't you know I've walked around my house a few times. That's good enough. 
Mm-hmm. Don't do a house tour, exactly. I mean, most people think I live in an apartment. So when I'm upstairs in my office, they think I live in a, uh, an apartment. So I let them keep thinking that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what if you are a reformed pimp? What if? What about it? A lot of people see like, okay, drug dealers, pimps, whatever, X this, X that. If you are smart enough to get paid, you can, you're smart enough to figure out the other ways to get paid. Okay? That's how I think about it. <laughs> Since I found you... I Beat depression, built yourself. You bit. You beat depression, be, built self-esteem, and currently leveling up. Love you, Shira. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad. What's your best asset? My my best asset is my ability to conform into whatever I have to conform into at the time. Um, my best ability is to emotionally detach, but get what I want, you know, Mm -hmm. we went, we want to know how to avoid women like this. Best advice I could ever heard. If you want to avoid women like this, stay broke. You won't ever have to worry about us, ever. I promise you. Thank you, Joseph Hughes. You donated $5. Oh, that's so nice. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can watch this all day. You can prepare for women like me all day, but you may never get a chance to interact. You know how those people get the canned goods and, you know, thinking um, the world's going to end and stuff. And they got that bunker. Thank you now, princess. This is this is just like that. Just in case. <laughs> I know I'm evil. <laughs> wow. You're funny, but I'd still run away. Yes. And I will tell people, like, look, you know, I don't deal with such 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 and such, you know, so you free to leave now. <laughs> okay. Honestly, honestly, like honestly, do you think women that really go after men with money? will try to trick you if you don't have any. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like women who go after money know what money looks like. They know what money sounds like. They know men who have money, how they talk, speak, dress. So they'll be able to scope you out before you even have a chance to know whether they're a woman like me, a gold digger or whatever, or not. They'll try to avoid you on purpose. You will like, they will avoid eye contact. They will walk the other way. So you really don't have to worry about it if you don't have anything to offer them or for them to even scam out of you or, you know, gold dig from you or whatever. Or you don't provide the type of lifestyle that they want. You don't ever have to worry about it. I mean, ever. They're not going to try to get your little, um, you know, Five figure income. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> okay, what woman do you know that's after a five figure income? I mean, if you going if you're gonna go be a gold digger, go go big. 
plenty. Okay, I I wouldn't waste time trying to impress a five a five figure man. Okay, I, I wouldn't do it. Like because most a lot of women make more than that. Some don't, but they can get a man with more than that. You know what I'm saying? It's not that hard. What's a five figure of their salary? You know, so that's what I'm saying. A thousand air, a low thousand air, a two digit thousand air. There. So that's what I'm saying. Like people are not going to try to go dig on you if you ain't got nothing anyway. Okay. So don't, you don't have to come here to prepare. I mean, the most you're going to get asked for is hair and nail money. That's about it. And maybe a phone bill. <laughs> that's all you can handle. So I really wouldn't worry. Mm. <laughs> Y'all laughing. I'm I'm serious. Only for the sit man. M G T O W got got dope. Not enough though. I mean, mug towel, whatever y'all want to call it. Y'all don't have enough money because if you did, you wouldn't even have that title. You just be a player. <laughs> okay. Any man who has to have adopt a title because they have to stay away from women don't have what they the women actually want. I'm I'm trying to tell you guys, most men who are worried about their little small five figure salary don't have to worry. I promise you that everything you're doing is in vain. All that title, all them initials, that's in vain. We don't want you. We don't need your five-figure check. Believe me. Like I say, we can sell pictures of our feet and make five figures. Okay? <laughs> okay. A woman can get on YouTube showing cleavage and doing makeup and hair and get five figures. Okay? That's easy. So I'm just saying, you guys, y'all are y'all are doing all of this in vain. The, the the women that you're worried about don't even know you exist. They don't even know you exist. And I'm just being honest because I don't have anything against you. I'm just saying you're stacking canned goods in a bunker waiting for the end of the world. That's the, that's the equivalent of your movement. <laughs> okay. Okay. So just so y'all know, y'all can, y'all can just stop throwing that title around because it doesn't mean anything. All it means is either a, you're too broke. B, you're protecting your five figures that we don't want anyway, or see some chick broke your heart and got with a man with more money. That's all that means to us. It doesn't mean anything. Like it's not impressive. We don't care. We didn't want you in the first place. You didn't leave because it was a choice. You left because nobody wanted to deal with you. Okay. Who, who wants to deal with a five-figure man with an ego? Nobody. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're going to have an attitude and you make five figures? Oh, no, sir. Goodbye. Go your own way. Some woman gave y'all that title. Y'all better go your own way. Shira is responsible for all these videos popping in, mug towel video popping up on YouTube. <laughs> well, whatever. Okay. You can't be you can't have an ego and be broke. Pick a struggle. Okay. Let's let's see. You can't talk to us that way when you don't have enough money. Okay. 
And I've seen those dumb videos. Oh, look how feminine she acts with this type of guy on this dude. Yeah, because he got money. Look how masculine and rude she is. Yes, because you broke. Okay. You get different treatment whether you have money and whether you don't. Whether you spend it on me or you're not spending it on me. You asking me for half the rent, you getting this attitude. You paying all my bills, you getting <laughs> yes, you are. That's what it that's what it that's what it is. If you're upset about that, if you're upset that we're only focused on money, then why don't you go date the ugly pygmies over there that will pay your bills? Why don't you go date them? Because it's about looks that you cannot afford. That's what it's about. Looks you cannot afford. Women you cannot afford. Women who upgraded on you. Women who don't think five figures is good enough. Okay? That's what the mug toe whatever movement is about. Pissed off five figure dudes. There you go. <laughs> Not even, some, some don't even get five figures. <laughs> so you are right mm -hmm. girl you talking the truth <laughs> mug toe that's what I call a mug toe I'm not finna try to pronounce some initials <laughs> shoot mug toe mug toe yeah <laughs> I know it's I know it's mug towel, but I say mug towel. <laughs> what about a man text me and never call? Probably married, duh, or got a girlfriend. Um you need to come on live at least once a week. <laughs> I come on live more than once a week. Can we get back to the topic, please? Okay. The topic was looking your best can change your life. And I usually cover the topic in the first 30 minutes. And then I answer questions and interact with the people that are here. So um, I'll, I'll come back and forth with it. <laughs> but yes, looks definitely change your life. For the better. So if you level up, make yourself look better, you get treated better, get better offers, get better men uh, attracted to you, get better treatment from strangers, better job opportunities, more promotions, you're more successful. So it is very beneficial to keep your looks up and not let yourself go or un underestimate the value of your appearance. Definitely. Okay. Um, I love you. All right. Thank you. Ming. Oh, thank you. Making sense. Stop. Okay. Uh, she, I know people or women that are quite richer than me, but sometimes I seem more produced than them and I feel strange many times. Okay. I don't understand what that means. Like produced. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I lost weight due to stress, but not a good loss because I look better when I had weight on. Now I'm meeting this guy and he only saw my pictures. I'm afraid he won't like me because I look skinny. Well, go eat. Shoot. Go get you a big old tub of ice cream, some chips, some tacos, some nachos, extra cheese. Layla, what else? Go get some donuts, get you a cake, and just eat. You're lucky. Do you know that I wish that I could do that? <laughs> Go eat for all the women who cannot eat. And start you, a, start you a YouTube channel and do what they call mukbang and just eat in front of the camera. People will watch. That's another way you can get paid. Go oh, just keep eating. <laughs> eat for the people that can't eat. 
You know, I watched my 600 pound life and watched them just eat two pizzas and drink a whole two liter and eat a box of donuts. Okay. Turn, turn your skinniness into eat a bunch of carbs, turn it into something lucrative. There you go. Watch me eat. <laughs> Oh, must be good to be you. Okay, anyway. Or you can do like, you can do like um, drag queens, you know, men who don't have curves. They get you, they get some padding. You can get you a fake booty. They sell that at the beauty supply store now. Okay. It's like, it looks like underwear, but it has a booty in it. We're extra layers. Dang, queens are use that queens use mattress padding for them hips. Mm -hmm. Styrofoam, no, not styrofoam. You said mattress padding, but now they have it where you could just buy it now because they they started seeing you know women want butts, but they get you some butt pads and whatever. Mattress pad. <laughs> what do they call that mattress? Tempur-Pedic? Get you some Tempur-Pedic, girl. <laughs> Shira, my boyfriend texts me but never call. What should I do? Know that you ain't the only one. Or maybe he's not a phone person. I'm not a phone person. Believe me. I, I hate being on the phone. Unless I'm doing a consultation, but I don't just talk to people just to talk to them on the phone. He, you know, in this day and age, people are more less likely to talk on the phone than they are to text. Or he could be around someone else and not able to talk to you. Do y'all remember that Destiny's Child Say My Name? That's before people were really texting. And when boyfriends used to call, and she was like, say my name, say my name. If no one is around you, say, baby, I love you. Well, you can't do that no more. Now you got to say, call my phone, call my phone. So basically, I think you need to call him. If he doesn't answer, then he's purposely avoiding talking to you on the phone. Okay? If that's a hint and a clue that he's around someone he doesn't want to talk to you in front of. Okay. So if he doesn't answer the phone, if he won't call you, if all he does is text, then there's something else going on. <clears throat> Maybe you should be talking to someone who can talk to you on the phone. She were, I'm 20. I matched with a 40 year old sales director on Tinder. He lives in Canada and wants me to go come over the border to meet him for lunch. Should I make him come to me? He's asking you to come over the border because you're 20. Okay. Ask him for, say, oh, I would love to come over the border with to come see you. That would be great. I can't wait to meet you. But guess what? I'm going to need, you know, some gas money or some Uber money or you know, something. Get some money out of them and then just don't show. I could get past the whatever, Border Patrol. Oops. <laughs> I couldn't get past the Border Patrol. Oh, well. Maybe you can come see me. There you go. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jenna Love. You're a new sub. I appreciate it. Yeah. Get some money first. Then play dumb and stupid. Like, well, I drove all the way up there and they said I need a passport or my birth certificate. And I had no idea. Just be dumb. 
so I had to go back. I didn't know that, you know? Wow. I know next time. <laughs> You're 20. You can play dumb all you want, okay? And, and they'll believe it. Okay, there you go. I have been stopped at the border. <sighs> so, meanwhile, you never even tried to go. You just went shopping with that money, okay? Okay. There you go. I've never been to Canada and I thought I could just drive there. I always say, like, I don't believe in just going to men. Like, why are are you a delivery woman? Like a delivery date, dial a date, deliver a date? No. Of course you make them come to you. Okay. Never just go to a man. Exactly. Especially if he's not asking, if he's not trying to pay for you to come see him, or even if he is, that's still cheaper than an escort. Okay. No, don't do that. What if he learned hypnosis? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, in England, you need to get debt to income ratio. Okay. You can drive to Canada. People from New York do it all the time. Okay. I guess it depends on where you live and whether you could drive through that state or not. I mean, whether you can get to the border or not. After the date. So anyway, I'm getting ready to go because I've been on here forever. If y'all want to join the Level Up group, go to my YouTube channel page. You can get to by clicking on my name. Go, go to the link that says Facebook. It's like a little square that says if. Or you can click about, and my Facebook link is in there. Instant message me on there. And ask to join the Level Up group. And then I will, it is a paid group now. It's a paid group. It's a private group. It's paid. There's tons of books in there. PDF books to give you gain, insight, tips. You know, well worth Anything you're going to pay to get in there. Okay. So I never say how much it is to join because it could change anytime. And this video might be up for a long time. So you got to message me. Okay. Um, you catch the attention of men with money, but you can't keep them. I feel nervous every time I talk and everything is spoiled. Okay. That's your first problem. Spoiled. Learn correct English. Okay. If you got, if they have money, they can't introduce you to their colleagues and you say spoilt. Okay. Level up on your vocabulary. First of all, you might look good from, they might cross the room for you, but if they can't take you around their friends, family, and colleagues, you will never get to that next step. Okay. So we also well, in the Level Up group, we have done exercises in the past where we ask you to talk, speak, you know, do a, a little video or sound clip so we can hear how you sound. And then we ask you if you would, uh, if you can, you know, pronunciate, I mean, pronunciate your words. If you can look up some videos on YouTube on better speak, better speech or whatever. Because of that's a lot of people's problem. Okay. The they have vocabulary building apps. Okay. So um you said spoilt is correct. I thought it was spoiled with the ED. Like E D. I mean, last time I checked, it was spoiled. Now I'm going to type in spoilt and see what comes up. 
I'm not making fun of you because a lot of people say it. Okay. Um, spoilt, spoiling, spoilt or spoiled. In regard to its value. Spoiled versus spoilt. Grammarist. Okay, let's get... Oh, hold on. I have to click on the wrong thing. Okay. You gotta turn it down because there's a video. Okay. Spoilt is almost totally absent from the American and Canadian publications. Mm -hmm. So, it's not there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also mines, M-I-N-E-S, like you, there's no S on mine. This is mine. Um, so it could be your grammar, you know, and Michaela Pink has a video called Being Shy is the same as being ugly. <laughs> yep. So yet. Yeah, American France run by floating actors. So it's a cultural thing, I guess. I mean, it's a cultural thing, I guess. Like, it's correct maybe somewhere else. <laughs> okay, so if you are, if that's correct where you live, then you, then you have to look at other things. Like, do you measure up to their environment? Do you have the look? that is appropriate to bring around to, you know, take you on a date to take you seriously. Do you have that look or do you just look like, you know, yes, I want to come say hi to you. Yes, you're pretty, but I can't take you in public or I can't take you to meet my mom or my friends because you don't fit into our world. You know, you got to think like a man would think if you can't get far with them, it's something about you. You know what I mean? Because men automatically know if you're girlfriend material or not. You know, oh, I can't take her anywhere. She has those long ratchet nails with uh, a thousand jewels on them. Okay, that's not going to work for me. But she's cute. I'll buy her a drink. I'll approach. I'll see if I can sleep with her. But she ain't getting past that, basically. Okay, so you got to understand a lot of guys don't call you back or take it any further because you're not fitting into their world. Okay. So you got to take a second look at yourself. I always say, go people watch, go people watch men with money date, go look what they look like. You know, <laughs> sure. If you always call him, I will look needy. I want to go far with him. If he's not calling you, you're not a priority. If he's just texting you, he can't talk to you wherever he is. I think if you're the same girl. Thank you, Layla Love. I appreciate the donation. Very generous of you. <laughs> Thank you. You always on my live. <laughs> mm-hmm. And and another thing, like I don't I, I don't talk to James at all. Like I don't care if he calls or not. It doesn't bother me. As long as I got what I need, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? But if you're still in that phase where you're in love and you want to talk, be on the phone and all that kind of stuff, yeah, that can be upsetting, but it's for a reason. You got to really think about it. Okay, whatever. You're holding on to it? Okay, well, why are you showing? This chick has like a closet on Poshmark. 
with like all brand new clothes with tags on it. And I asked about one of the things she's showing. And she's like, oh, I'm keeping that one. I'm like, then why are you showing it? Shoot. Ugh. Hmm. I'm holding on to that. I can type what I really want to. <laughs> um, you for you prefer eBay? Yeah. I'll see if they have it on eBay, but brand new though. <laughs> You're obsessed with a married man. I need your help, please. First of all, obsessed is the wrong word. You, I can't help you. Okay, you can't be obsessed if you if you want it to work. Okay. Keyword is obsessed. That means no, I can't help you if you're obsessed. He's supposed to be obsessed with you. Hello. Hi Layla. Brother, How are you? I know I'm about to, I'm trying to get off. They keep asking me questions, girl. Take it off. Layla said, get off. What what are we gonna do? Watch movies? Watch movies. Okay, let's go watch movies, Carol. What movie should we watch? Do y'all have any Netflix uh, movies? We should watch. Uh recommendations. It's pretty scary, but I cannot be very dark. Do I ever miss younger men? Nope. They got they ain't got no money. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Cloverfield, I saw no the Cloverfield Paradox. Okay, we saw Cloverfield. Now we gotta watch Cloverfield Paradox. Okay. What happened to Monday? I don't is that a Ooh, movie? Boss. What happened to Monday? Okay, let's let's type them in my phone so we can remember them. I will. Mm. Okay. I like pretty clover. And wearing dog pants with Paradox. a tank top. Okay, and what happened to Monday? What happened to Monday? Mm hmm mm hmm We saw Veronica already. That was kind of good. That was good. Uh, Those are not scary. They didn't give me nightmares. Yeah, we, we've watched way worse than that. Way worse. We're horror film buffs. We love for Caroline. She already watched that. She likes that. Coraline. Coco watched that already. We watch a lot of movies. We have that movie actually. Good Witch seen it already. Black Lightning. Okay, I'm gonna write that down. Black. This black lightning. Pan's Labyrinth. Uh, I'm buff. Oh, uh, horror buff. Okay. Five hundred days of summer. Is that a good movie? Five hundred. What's it about? Summer. It's about five hundred days of summer. That's not five hundred days. That's stupid. Okay. Stupid. Is that wait that until one? dark. Okay, wait until dark. Oh, I want to watch that one. Avengers. Wakanda forever. Supernatural. Oh, I've seen it. Is that the show? Shh. Captain Underpants. Seen it. See, see it. Pan's Labyrinth is scary, not for kids. Teen Witch from the eighties. Yeah, that's funny. The rain. I, I've, I've, I tried to watch that, I think, but I, I got bored. Okay. Well, thank y'all for the recommendation. Bye.